What's going on guys? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can create cool animations when the user scrolls down on your website. Here you can see that we have a very basic HTML code and CSS. The first diff is just an empty diff with a height of 350 pixels. You can see it here. There's nothing there. And then we have this one which is um, this uh, diff with a red background, white text. And then we have the same thing. It's an empty div with 350 pixels and that's it. So I created this too, so we can have space to scroll down. And here we have some simple CSS for this div. Okay, so my goal here is this one, I'm gonna change the opacity to zero so we, you know, the user don't see it. And then when you scroll down, it will appear with some animation. First thing I'm gonna do is get scroll magic, which is what we are using. The only file we need is this one right here, which we can just copy and paste it from here. Just copy, go back here. I'm just gonna paste it here in, this, in the HTML. And that's it, we have the power of scroll magic. Now we can do Cool stuff. First, I'm gonna add a pass, um, the opacity here of zero. And now we don't see it. But now we can just go and scroll and I want this thing to appear, right? So let's start adding some JavaScript now. All right, first thing we need to add kind of the engine of scroll magic, right? So we're gonna create a variable of controller. This can be named whatever you want, doesn't have to be controller. It's gonna be equal to new scroll magic dot controller. Now we need to create a scene. So let's name this variable something like scene. I don't know, something simple. It can be whatever you want. And this is equal to new scroll magic dot scene. Now here we're gonna have one cool option inside this one. And is the element, the trigger element. So I need to choose which element is gonna uh, trigger the animation or whatever we wanna do. And is this one, the red cube. That's what I want. So I'm gonna do tr trigger element and is there red cube? So dot red cube because it's a class. All right, so let's put one here so I can show you something. So I'm saying when the trigger of scroll magic by default is in the middle of the screen, so somewhere here, when it scroll and it touches the beginning, like it's like the beginning of this div is gonna do whatever we want. You can change the trigger position. It doesn't have to be in the middle. You can change it. Scroll magic have a ton of options, okay? Now, what I wanna do is when you uh, scroll and touches the beginning of this element, I wanna add a class to this element. Okay, so I'm gonna do it now. Let's add set class toggle. It's not adding only the class, it's adding and removing the class. So when you're here, it's gonna add the class and when you go back, it's gonna remove the class. That's a toggle, right? So now I need to choose which, like what's the element and the element is this one. And now comma and the class that you wanna to toggle, we can do like show or fade in or whatever you want. I'm gonna do show, just show it, right? Cool. Now we need to add like this whole scene to this controller so it works. So I'm gonna do add to Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
and the variable name is controller. So controller. And now it we it's supposed to be adding. Let, let's go to inspect this element and let's see what's happening. Just want to see if it's working or not. So let's see, let's scroll down. All right, cool. So if you see my code here, I'm going to scroll down, scroll down. It's going to get kind in the middle, it's going to trigger and it added my show class. And as you go up and it removed the class again. All right, cool. So it's actually is working. So now I just need to add some CSS. So we can say red cube dot show. Let's turn the opacity again to zero so we don't see it. And now I want the opacity to be one. All right, let's see if it works. There you go. Of course, I need a smooth transition. So let's add here transition. Let's say 0.3 seconds. Let's see if that works. You know what? One second, a whole second. All right, let's see. Scroll down and look at that. Ooh. What a beauty. You know what? Let's make it more interesting. Let's say with 0%. And here we're going to do with 100%. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It looks a little weird when it starts with that text. But I mean, I think it's very, I think it's very cool. Maybe the width is not the best idea, but I think this is kind of awesome to be this simple, right? With just this code and adding one uh, file, you can do this. I think it's very cool. All right, so that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.